Hey guys, King Gath here with a major patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 3.2.0, which I'm calling Respect Your Limits. So one of the things we've learned over the past few months in all of our research and testing with Fallout 4 is that the biggest cause of crashing is going over the build limit. And I think many of you already knew that, especially on Xbox. But prior to this patch, there was no way to really deal with that if you were playing with Sim Settlements. And that's because Sim Settlements naturally bypassed the build limit. This wasn't by design, this is just a limitation of how the game engine works. And basically, when you place things live in the game with a script, the build limit isn't used. And so I found a way to allow Sim Settlements to actually use the build limit, and that will happen going forward. So there's a few ways that manifests itself first off anytime you use a city plan or a plot build something the build limit usage will go up so you'll see that your meter will fill up very rapidly if you're using some settlements so that introduces a few complications especially for those of you who are on lower end systems and uh, I'm gonna talk about all of the ways this is going to affect things and the tools I'm giving you to handle it so the first good news is that I have probably eliminated the need for a mod in most of your load orders because some settlements can now alter the max build limit so you'll be able to use some settlements and change your build limit without having to in include another mod to do so it's all done in the holotape so let's talk about what's going to happen if you were to start a new game and that's that after you run the performance wizard if you choose the xbox one xbox one s or low or medium settings for pc sim settlements will now acknowledge the build limit so what that means is that if you were to push over the build limit sim settlements will basically stop doing anything it will stop building things and pushing you past the build limit until you explicitly tell it it's okay to do so so the way that will work is on plots they will just stay at the level they're at or they won't build at all until you open up your build limit more or give those plots a pass. And you can do that by going up to a plot while your build limit is maxed and choosing refresh. And you'll be prompted and offered to allow that plot to have an exemption. Now, if you're doing city building, what will happen is the city will just stay at the current level or... If you're in the city when it's leveling up, it will offer you to allow it to build anyway, even though it will go past the build limit. Essentially, it's looking for a big giant buffer. So maybe you're not over the build limit, but you're very close. Uh, when you go to upgrade a city or build it, some settlements will tell you that you're going to push over and will offer you to allow it an exception anyway. And now that is all controlled by this respect build limit. So if you're on a high-end PC, you never experience crashing, uh, you can turn this off. And by default, this will be off unless you answered one of the performance options for uh, those systems that I mentioned. So if you're playing this, if you're for loading this patch up and you're on a high-end PC, you don't have to do anything and this isn't going to affect you in any way. It's for those of you who are on those lower-end systems who are trying to stop all of the crashing from arriving at settlements, you're going to want to come in and turn this on and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So basically, the idea with this is that it's going to make you more cognizant of how much some settlements is actually putting pressure on your system because prior to this, it was very hard to tell. You would just kind of have to guess how many plots you could place. Now you have a, a strict measurement working within a system you're already used to which is that build limit so here's the options for altering your build limit and that's going to be under tools and then configuration tools and you've got three new options now here's what i would recommend to do if you're on a system that crashes frequently when you're arriving in settlements i would come in here and run restore max that will put the build limit back to the vanilla level that bethesda determined was completely safe Next, I would run Recalculate Use. What this will do is a look at all the Sim Settlements items and make sure that they are applying the build limit. Because prior to this patch, Sim Settlements couldn't interact with how much the build limit was used, any of the items that are already in your game won't have affected this. So the Recalculate Use will allow that to happen. Running Recalculate Use after you click this, just exit your pip boy, wait about five minutes, uh, and it should be updated. And if you pop into build mode, you'll most likely find that your build limit is filled. So then the next thing you'll do is come back in here and hit increase mask max. What this will do is two things. First, it will offer you if you want to push your build limit up by 25%, and it asks you to verify you understand the risks because the build limit was definitely put there for a very particular reason, and that's because the engine just can't handle that many dynamically added items. So again, on high-end PCs, this isn't even an issue for you, but if you find yourself crashing in settlements, this is something to be very aware of. So after you choose yes to that increase by 25%, it will look and see if you're already at the build limit or way over it, and it will tell you how much you're over by. So 
and then you'll be given the option to first push up the max to what you're already at. So for example, let's say you're at 500% over the build limit already. It will say, hey, do you want to set the max to 5%, 500% it was, and then add 25% onto that. So that way, whenever you push this build limit increase max, you'll always be giving yourself a 25% buffer over what you had. So you can kind of slowly push your way up rather than risk some of the settlement uh, mods that alter the build limit and just either remove it entirely or push it so far above the, the baseline that it's virtually on limited those are dangerous especially on xbox so this will allow you to incrementally in increase the build limit so you can test out and make sure that you're not going to cause crashes in your game so these tools are all here you don't have to use the build limit you can turn off that respect build limit under the performance section if you like and continue to play some settlements as you have and like i said unless you change the performance options or are starting a new game to do so the build limit stuff will be affected, but the sim settlements will basically bypass it anyway. It'll just keep pushing past the build limit, but it will update your build limit meter so that you can see how much the usage is going. So I hope that's all clear. Essentially, build limit, the actual meter up there, so if I pop into workshop mode, sim settlements is going to increase the usage on it. So you can see I am very full here in the level one of sanctuary, but sim settlements will continue to build things past that anyway by default, unless you turn that respect build limit on uh, but it is going to turn on if you're starting a new game. So that should be that should hopefully be clear. So high-end PC users, no change at all. You have nothing to worry about, nothing big happening here, other than you can now be aware of how much some settlements is pushing past. And for those of you on Xbox, you now have a way to measure it so you can prevent going too far with your sim settlements designs and now obviously doing things like those performance options to turn off clutter have a big impact on how much of the build limit sim settlements actually uses so if you're on a high-end pc and you find that occasionally you're crashing in some of the rise of the commonwealth designs turning off things like clutter will have a huge impact on the amount sim settlements actually affects your build limit the other thing is that the optimization project we're working on, which is going to take quite a while because it's a very in involved process, is uh, we're now going to try and keep this in mind where we're going to be pushing, not necessarily to keep underneath the vanilla build limit, but to keep it underneath a number we know is safe on Xbox. We find for most settlements, you can go about two to three times over the build limit safely. So uh, keep that in mind if you're going to start using that increased build limit on an Xbox. Trying to go unlimited on any Xbox, even the Xbox One X, is very dangerous and almost certainly going to cause crashes. But you can probably hit that increased build limit two or three times and not have any problems. All right, and then the other thing I want to mention as far as changes in this particular patch, I have a very big change to the way Sim Settlements works. This is another reason this is a major patch. I'm basically changing two major features about how Sim Settlements works. And that second big feature is that plots that upgrade or build while you're out, out away from the settlement will now do so correctly and completely so that you don't have to wait for the plots to refresh when you return. So if you've ever find, found that after you come back to a, a settlement, some of the plot items are kind of in disarray or the plot looks like the building upgraded but none of the stuff inside did, that will no longer happen. Some settlements can now handle all of its plot stuff from a from remote and that will mean that you will have a more immersive experience you don't have to sit and wait in a settlement for things to catch up everything will run constantly while you're out in the game and kind of spread its resource usage throughout so we should have eliminated basically all script related crashing that should all be gone some settlements is very very streamlined in that regard so now we just have to focus on the build limit issue and pushing the engine graphically too hard so we're working on that very hard and uh, I'm very happy with where some settlements is at now so that uh, we can go forward with uh, more content creation now as opposed to having to constantly worrying about performance issues. I think we're in a great, great spot. Now, if you're, if you're concerned with going to a major patch, you might want to wait a few days, let the braver folks try out this patch and report back. Obviously, if there are any issues, I will hotfix them immediately, but we've actually been working on this patch for a couple of weeks now, and uh, we've had lots and lots of testing done, so I'm very confident in how this one is working. And some of those issues you guys had with, uh, with things updating very slowly from the 3.16 patch are resolved in this, so that should be encouragement enough to download this. All right, guys, as always, please read the patch notes. There are tons of changes that I didn't document in this video because they would have bored you out of your mind, but might be worth reading so that you're aware of those changes. All right, guys, as always, take care and enjoy the mod.